Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode on Learn React. In this episode, we'll take a look at adding CSS animation on top of the model that we built, the review application that we built in our previous episodes. So in our previous episode, we saw that uh, we had created a simple model uh, which displays questions and on seeing next question, we loop through the questions and in the end, we just say thanks for reviewing. To begin with, uh, I have first of all set up basic CSS for the model, uh, for the question over here, which is being displayed over here, and the body, so that uh, the transitions that we see will be evident. In our transitions, we'll be moving, like we'll be moving the text and let it come from the right. It'll enter from the right and leave from the left. To start with, I'll need to, uh, we need to set up use of React CSS transition group. So React provides us with various add-ons. If you take a look at the import that we have, uh, the library that we are using, it says React with add-ons. So I'm importing react along with the add-ons if you just use the react library the add-ons will be made available to us uh, available to you so after we have added the react css transition group uh, what we'll need to do next is wrap around the question that we have within the css transition group so So we'll wrap the element in the React CSS transition group. And what we need to do is we need to provide transition name, which is a property which will be used which will be used to define what CSS class to use uh, for determining what transitions to like what uh, CSS to apply whenever transition like whenever an element is added or removed so I'll be saying this I'll be calling this property as question note that uh, the h1 element or the question that we have we have provided the key attribute over here we have seen in our previous episode for dynamic components the use case of key attribute in case of React CSS transitions, making use of key will help uh, the transition group to identify that a new element has been added and you need to, that React needs to provide some form of a transition. In a CSS, uh, apart from the modal, uh, modal CSS uh, that we have provided, we have also made we have also provided for other uh, for other classes. So whenever we add React React CSS transition group, what happens is React on top of this transition, uh, the transition name. It allows us to tap in four events. So the so the first two are related to adding of an element. So the beginning of addition of an element and the ending of like when the element is completely added and when the comp element is going to be removed. So question leave and when question leave becomes active. Right now I have just provided simple transition uh, transition values over here like imp increasing the opacity and bringing the text that we have or the question that we have from right to left so after we have set this up if we take a look at the model something went wrong
so I did this okay so let me just close the console and as yes so if you take a look at the Moodle now when I do the next question the new new text which is there it will be entering from right and leaving from the left which has been provided uh, to us based on the CSS properties uh, the transform values over here which is translate X and based on the CSS transition group which we have applied from react to to summarize we added react CSS transition group and we uh, we embedded whatever whatever component which will be added or removed we wrap that around the CSS transition group and then uh, react provided us with uh, four events which is enter and interactive and leave and leave active so that's it for this episode Thank you for watching.